Our next inductee came into Stony Brook the same year as Robbie. Paul Siafrone had a difficult start to his Stony Brook career after tearing his ACL early in his junior soccer season. His injury cost him his basketball season as well, but he came back for a sensational baseball season that helped him earn a spot on Long Island's Empire State Games team. After earning all conference honors during his senior basketball season, Paul earned his second all-county nod in baseball and became the only Stony Brook baseball player to be selected to Newsday's all Long Island team. Paul's power at the plate was without equal. The lacrosse team had to be on high alert whenever Paul came to bat, as his long balls often found their way into the bear cage. That was the sound of a screaming Paul C. from line drive. <laughs> to put that into perspective, the distance to the bear cage, the temporary outfield fence I erect every year for the baseball team is a good 40 feet in front of the bear cage. By his senior year, it was, it was a routine sight to find professional scouts watching Paul take batting practice after games. After graduating from the Brook, Paul was drafted by the New York Mets in the 1996 MLB draft, becoming the only Brooker to be drafted into professional baseball. He went on to play baseball at Hofstra University, where he garnered first team all-conference honors thanks to a 408 batting average to go along with 11 home runs, the ninth highest home run total in Hofstra history. He also earned Hofstra's Men's Scholar Athlete Award, recognizing strong academics and performance on the field. After Hofstra, he spent three years in the minor leagues, where he racked up 93 hits, eight home runs, and 50 RBIs in 139 career games. When I asked Paul what memories stood out to him from his time at the Brook, he went back to that wine dance game. Though Robbie scored 39 points that day, he did not score the winning basket. With the score nodded at 66 all, Robbie took the ball coast to coast in the waning seconds, but left his layup short. Just before the buzzer sounded, Paul tipped in the shot to give the Bears the win. He finished with 18 points that day in one of the signature wins in Stony Brook basketball history. What I remember best about Paul was his toughness and sheer love of competition. Paul was a teammate anyone would want to go into battle with. Please join me in honoring Paul Siafron.